Hey everybody, Ben Winterman here, wearing a different shirt this time. This is video number four. I am now more than one week post-procedure. I was wanting to do a one week post-procedure video and time and busyness just got away from me, but here I am. It is now Friday, so I am about a week and a half post-procedure. I got my procedure done last Tuesday. Let me tell you how it was at first. I believe the last video I, I did, I, w I made a video of me sitting in the, in the recliner saying, I'm feeling pretty good today. So I was, and um, that first night though, was really, really, really rough. Um, they recommended that I sleep on my left side. That was good advice. Uh, the, f the first night I, I tried sleeping on my right side for a little bit, and I got this intense pressure in my lower chest, which I had I'd read about in doing my research, that it was like a chest pressure, which I thought was weird, but it was definitely in my chest. If I laid on my, and if I laid on my right side, I felt that real strong. If I laid on my back, I got really nauseous. And if I laid on my left side, it was just discomfort is the best word for it. And so it got to the point where at like two in the morning on for, on that night after the procedure, I was told my wife, I'm going to go downstairs and sleep in the recliner because I cannot sleep and I feel terrible. And I, it was a horrible night's sleep. I didn't sleep well. The next day it was on and off nausea um, and just discomfort. That is the best word. It just, you're not comfortable. The pressure was definitely there and it was kind of a lower chest pressure and it kind of shifted down throughout the day, which I was kind of told to expect that that was the balloon kind of settling into its new home. So that, that was kind of the first two days. Uh, this, the second night I was planning on sleeping in the recliner, uh, again, but I was upstairs getting my daughter ready for bed and I was laying in bed with her and I was like, you know what? I think I could sleep in bed and I'd much rather sleep in bed because I need some good sleep. So I slept in bed, uh, the second night on my left side the whole night. And I slept like a rock because I was exhausted, but also it was kind of waning. And then on Friday, I stopped, uh, taking the Zofran or the Undansetron, the anti-nausea. And on Saturday, I stopped taking the Hyoxiamine or whatever it is, the anti-spasm. And that worked out great for me. I had really, really great results with that. And I knew I knew that I was lucky because, uh, one, apparently guys do better than women as far as getting past the, the, the nausea. And even then, I was lucky because it was only a few days. And But honestly, I'll say this. I was truly thinking, because I've had several people tell me, let me know how this goes for you because I would love to lose weight and I fought with it my whole life. And during those first two days, I genuinely thought, I don't know that I'd recommend this to anybody who isn't ready to feel terrible. And I was ready for it. Like they, they definitely gave me the heads up and said, you're ready to feel crappy for a few days. And I, I was, and I did, but then I got past it. And then I came out on the other side, wait update. So whenever I started this video series and I did my two weeks put pre-procedure, I weighed 321 pounds. Today, I weigh right at 300 pounds. So I'm down 21 pounds. I know that's bonkers, but it's also because I'm a dude. But if you go back and look at the other videos and you look now, you can probably see it in my face. I mean, I've my clothes fit better. This shirt, I used to like sit down and like, man, I don't care. I'll be honest. See how like if you the buttons, you get this little like meh. Like if it's like pushing out. So that's what it, it would do that on my stomach. And it's not doing that if it's good. So I'm feeling really good about that. I'm feeling very excited. And I know that most of that weight loss was like that first huge chunk. And now I'm going to plateau a little bit. And I know that um, it's going to be a little bit tougher going forward. I get that. But honestly, I'm still pretty, pretty excited about already being down 21 pounds in just over a week. That's it's more than just over a week because for days before the procedure, I stopped eating. And prior to the procedure, I was like trying to like get myself ready to not be eating a lot. Uh, but still it feels fantastic and I'm excited for how things are going. As far as what I've been eating and drinking, I started off drinking Gatorade zero, like all the time. I thought I'd have one down here. I don't Gatorade zero. I found a few flavors I really liked. And then I do um, Jello as kind of like a little treat uh, that was not liquid that I could, you know, kind of chew-ish. And then by the end of the week on Saturday, I had made myself some chocolate sugar-free pudding, like Jello pudding. And uh, I could only eat little, little bits because I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to risk getting nauseous because that's the worst. And uh, it went well, except that 
everything I was doing, I was doing, oh, uh, protein shakes, Gatorade, pudding, and Jello. All of those things are super sweet. So I was dying to have something not sweet. So on Father's Day, which was Sunday after my procedure, I decided, you know what? I'm going to try and have some cream of mushroom soup. And I did, and it was fantastic. But I made a can of it, like a small, you know, the condensed can with a little bit of milk mixed into it. And I ate about 70% of it. And I was full, like full, full, like holy weird. How am I full already? But it was great. I got to have like a normalish hot dinner and it was great. I talked to my coach and I said, what else can I have? Uh, can I start being more adventurous? Cause I'm feeling so good. And she said, eh, take it easy. It can sneak up on you. So here are some, you know, not sweet things that you can have. So lately I've been eating cottage cheese, uh, those tuna packets that are like flavored. Those are fantastic. I love those. Uh, and I've been eating uh, soup here and there and it's been going good. Um, I got uh, the, the tuna. I got the soup. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Tonight, I am now a week and a half post-procedure. It is Friday night. I was out doing some shopping with my wife and my kid. And I said, let's go out to eat because one of the foods that my coach said I could have is scrambled eggs. We love breakfast food. We had it at our wedding. And I was like, let's go to Village Inn, which has the VIB, this like breakfast. You can pick like 10 things or four things off of this huge list. And um, I got a VIB and I'll post a picture of it here. I got a VIB with uh, scrambled eggs, yogurt and cottage cheese. And that's all I got. And, and, and the first picture I'm showing is the, what I ordered, which I ordered double cottage cheese. Cause I love cottage cheese. And I knew I was going to give some to my daughter. Uh, so the, then the second picture here is what I was able, like the amount that was left by the time I was like stuffed, like so full. And the reason why the cottage cheese is divided up now is because I took some out before putting pepper on for my daughter to have. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's going great. Um, everything's going well. I'm really excited. I feel like super normal. The only other thing, I almost forgot about this, the number one side effect I was not ready for that was recommended, that, 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 that my coach asked me about, and I was like, oh, man, let me tell you how bad that is, is energy levels. I have been exhausted. Like, come 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night, I'm ready to go to bed. And it makes sense. I got nothing coming in, really, like calories-wise. And so that is a huge thing to keep in mind is that your energy levels will plummet and it's okay and you'll get through it. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit better because another thing I talked to my coach about was what else should I be doing? And she said, try taking um, a multivitamin and she had one she recommended and uh, Philips colon health probiotic got that too. Miralax which is like the powder laxative. She said, just start doing like Miralax once a day just to kind of keep the grease with the wheels greased as far as, you know, keeping things flowing through not to be super gross, but stomach functions are normal. And that like, I'm going to the bathroom, not nearly as often as I used to, but I am. And yeah, everything's going good. So I hope to do another update in a week or so. If it's a week from now and not much is going on, I probably won't, but once like I'm kind of like, hey, here's time to do an update, I will. But thank you all for checking this out. I appreciate everybody who's been sending the kind words and asking the good questions. And if you have any more for me, feel free to shoot me a, a message. If you know me, feel free to comment on this if you want to. Be sure to subscribe if you're, if you're into this, and uh, we'll talk to you all later.